and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Michelle, and if you're back again, hello and welcome. Back, even. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be opening the Azos, EOS Beauty Box. Now, EOS Beauty Box is not a subscription box, I can't say the word subscription. Um, it comes out near enough at the beginning of the month and you just type in beauty box and the price varies it's normally about £12 for like a normal one but if they collab with somebody like the afternoon pass like I got a pixie one which I was very lucky to get because those collab ones just go like that and they're normally a bit more like £15 which is still quite good and if you're going to do this quite often, I'd recommend paying for the year next day delivery for, I think it was $7.99 because that will save you a hell of a lot in the postage for the year. Anyway, so let's get into the box. So this is what it looks like. Yet again, I've avoided box opening so... be surprised for me but I did see online what was in it so this is what it's like when you unbox it, it comes with a card and it says on the card whether you're prepping for date night or just looking for an extra and for an excuse to treat yourself the latest EOS Basic Beauty Box has all the skincare feel good makeup and air heroes to brighten up your month in it, you'll find Barry M's Vitamin Infused Lip Gloss, mm, which will moisturise your lips and keep them glossy. Plus, there's the cult brand Coco and Eve's Like A Virgin Air Mask, that's just normally dear, ain't it? Which contains hair strengthening, coconut, and thick extracts to give your hair some serious PLC. To prep and hydrate your skin, you'll need you'll be needing Nip and Fab's Primer Mask. It's packed with hyaluronic acid and vitamins. The final touch is Laura Mose's Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Oh, I've always wanted to try that. It's guaranteed, guaranteed to keep your foundation looking fresh all day long, giving you a nice healthy glow until summer comes. And for that extra bit of drama, Siet's Fierce Flick Liquid Liner will help you create your best cat eye yet. So that's all that in the back of the card, but don't give you any prices, so if I can, I will search for prices and stick them somewhere and they will be somewhere on this video, the prices, and the total of the box, somewhere. Anyway, so this is in stock, so when you open it up, oh it's quite like three full size items. And that's what it looks like inside the box. <laughs> so the first one is the CS Fears Flick and it's full size and it's in the colour. I'm guessing it's like black, whatever it is. But that's what it looks like. And I probably will keep this for a giveaway as I cannot for the life of me use the good eyeliner. I wish I could, but I can't. Never mind. Next to pick up. Oh, this is nice colour. This is the Barry M Gloss Me Up in full size in the colour Sugar. And that's it there. I'm not going to open it because it's sealed because I've been told if you do open something up, it already reduces the, the life of the product. So I'm not going to open it because I think I will try this colour. I do wear makeup on it, so I used to wear it quite a bit. But since being in hospital and come back home and all that la la la, I've just not been bothered. I'm loving the skincare, but makeup wise, it's like nah. Not me at the moment, but I'm in the middle of getting little bits and bobs to make my bedroom really pretty. And I'm actually finally getting what I've always wanted. Yeah. A dressing table so I can sit there and dry myself up 
and I can't wait because I've wanted one for ages. But life has been life and things stop you from doing what you want. And that's another story. Anyway, moving on. Next, this is a travel size I would say. And it's 38ml of the cocoa and Eve like a virgin nourishing coconut and thick air mask and it is like that now this is normally dear stuff and I would never pay that much I think it's 30 odd quid for a tub of it and I just think nah I try some nicer stuff I've actually tried some of it oh it's sealed so I can't smell it uh, in, that I've gotten late from beauty and I'm actually going to do a review on that one it is gorgeous and it's not easy to buy either and anyway last in the box is the Metapply Import Minimising Prime Mask which very handy for me because I have uh, all around here on my nose I've got nothing but big pores you can see which I hate so this is one mask and there it is and that's that in that box so what did you think of this box? Did you think it was worth £12? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumb up. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Oh, mouthful. And until then, I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hi, this is Future Me doing my editing. I noticed that I was missing the Laura Mercy translucent powder so I'll get in touch with EOS and I'll get back to you and tell you what they said. Bye for now.